watch. We're in an age like no other. There is a lot of things that say peace is nowhere near coming, but it is. Now, when you actually look at the prophecies, really much of it is down to these four main categories. It's certainly war, economics, and diplomacy. So Revelation 1 verse 3, if you're going to write down anything tonight or highlight anything in your Bibles, that is the verse, that is the section to write down and, and note. Because regarding prophecy, we're to read, we're to hear, and we're to keep. That keeping is treasuring in your heart. So when we look around and we see the news, from if we be looking into our Bibles on our laps, we're looking, we get to know it, understand the mind of God. And then when we look up, and we see these events happening, those events should be shown in our mind and triggering because the Bible has shown us what would happen. Where is the promise of his coming? Now, how many of us have heard that? I know I have. Absolutely have heard it. Within the truth and without. As they have. Absolutely wrong. If we think all things continue on as they have, we have not been watching. And that includes myself at times. And so I pray prayerfully tonight that we really want to make sure that this verse is strong in our hearts and our minds so that as we go through, we start to reopen our eyes if they've been closed at all, if they're a little bit dim, if we've been missing things, if we think that the way things are happening in the news, that Russia isn't, going to, isn't fulfilling Gog. It's not going to continue because it certainly will. Putin is deceptive. We know that very clearly. Daniel 8, verse 25, or sorry, Gog, I'll rather say. Through his policy, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. But if you cross Putin, you're either dead, jailed, or exiled, as, the, as this article says. According to six people with knowledge of the matter, Putin is prepared to use chemical weapons in a mass casualty event before resulting to nuclear confrontation with NATO. Russia or Putin is willing to do whatever it takes to make his plan real, which is restore the ancient Russian empire and go even further. We'll finish with some writings that we know well. John Thomas tells us that when Russia makes its grand move for the building up of its image empire, let the reader know that the end of all things at present constituted is at hand, and salvation will be to those who not only look for it, but have trimmed their lamps. We shall be called to judgment sometime before the gathering of Gog's armies against Israel, so that we do not have to wait that event for Christ to come. The resurrection, the judgment, and some instruction of Israel is to happen first. And our Lord Jesus the Christ said in his closing words, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according to his work. Surely I am coming quickly. Watch.